Hello, welcome to another video. This is not a particularly confusing or difficult exercise, but today I noticed that some students still get confused about what this is. If you're supposed to take this integral, is this the same as this or like this or this or this? So I'm just gonna break them up and then solve each of them and then we can bring everything together at the end. Now, you don't have to watch this video if you're not confused by any of these, you know what to do. But if this sometimes confuses you, this is a reinforcement video. Let's get into it. So the first thing you do is you split this into bits because there is no need to do any combination since it's already in small parts. Fundamental theorem of calculus, we know that this is the same thing as, let's write it here. We know that this is the same thing as the integral of 3 to the e dx plus we have the integral of 3 to the x dx. We have plus the integral of x to the e dx. Then we have the integral of e to the x dx. And then we have the integral of, we have um, e over x dx. Now, all of these are very simple expressions. Okay, so, now let's take them one by one. The first one, so let's do the work here, okay? What does this mean? The integral of three to the e dx. What is three to the e? Three to the e is just a number. It's like writing five there or writing six. So you don't need to find any technique of integration. This is like writing 7 or writing 3 to, so this is actually 3 to the 7, 2.7, so it's about it's a number greater than 15 but less than 28. So it's an actual number, so all you have to do when you integrate this is to say this is 3 to the e, you introduce x to it, and that's it. So I can call this c1 because we're gonna have just one C by the time we're done. So what you wanna write is, the answer to this is basically three raised to power E with X beside it, and that's it. I know it looks awkward, but that's it. That's all you have to do. Let's go to the next one. Plus, what's this integral? Now this one is a little different because you have a base of three, but the exponent is a variable and you're integrating with respect to X. Now this is where you either use implicit differentiation or you remember how to integrate this. Remember that the integral of a to the x dx is always equal to a to the x divided by ln of a. That's how we do it. Or you can write this as one over ln of a, a to the x. So that's exactly what we do. This is our a, a is three. So this integral can be written as one over the natural log of three multiplied by three to the x, and you're done. Or you can put this on top, okay? Some people like to write this like this. And that's it. And then let's go to the next one. Well, x to the e, this is the one that confuses students the most, because remember that e is a number. So it's like saying x to the, so let's look at this again x to the second dx. Well, this integral is basically x to the, you have to add something to this, so it's 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c, okay? It's the same thing we do here because this e is a number, so it's going to be plus. The integral is going to be x to the e plus 1 over e plus 1 plus c, but we're going to keep the c aside. And that's it, that's the answer to that one. Let's go to the next one. This is gonna be plus. Oh, this one is the easiest, right? Because the, the integral of e to the x is just e to the x, which follows the same rule. Where is the rule we used? The rule we used here. See, this three and this e are both numbers. So if you apply this rule here, it's gonna be one 
over the natural log of e multiplied by 3 to the x. You see, that's why our answer is always just, sorry, not 3, e, the number here, the base is e. So as you can see, what's the natural log of e? It's 1. So 1 over 1 times e to the x gives you e to the x. The same exact rule that we've applied here. And the final one, this is going to be e over x dx. Remember again, e is a number. So let's do the final one somewhere here. So the integral of e over x dx can be written as e times the integral of 1 over x dx. You see, this and this are the same because e is a number, not a variable. So what is the integral of 1 over x? It's natural log of x. So the answer to this is basically e times the natural log of x. Let's put the absolute value there. And now we can put a giant plus c. So it's all of this plus c. Okay? Is there any simplification we can do? Yeah, let's just do that. So this is going to be, there's no further simplification. So this is 3 raised to power e times x plus... There's no further simplification. I can just write this as 3 to the x over the natural log of 3. Here, there's no simplification. It's x to the e plus 1 over e plus 1. And if I go here, the natural log of e is 1. So it's this 1 over 1, which is just e to the x. And the last one, to e ln x and plus c. <laughs> Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.